In this video, we'll be sketching the graph of a sine function with a phase shift. If you've not already done so, press pause to copy down these guidelines for sketching graphs of sine and cosine functions. When you're ready to continue, press play. The example that we'll be working on is sketch the graph of y equals sine of x plus 3 pi over 4. Now we want to compare this equation to this general equation. Notice that we don't have a c value. Our a value is 1. Our b value is 1, and the d is a negative 3 pi over 4. The first thing we want to do is factor out b if needed. Um, in this case, um, the x is all by itself. There's no number other than 1 multiplied by x. So our b is 1. The amplitude uh, is the absolute value of a. And um, a is 1. So our amplitude is 1. Since we have a b value of 1, then our period is 2 pi. We did not have a C value, so we have no vertical translation. And our phase shift is a negative 3 pi over 4. And the reason for that is we can write this as x subtract a negative 3 pi over 4. And so, um, because it has a positive sign right here, um, the uh, subtraction is in the general equation, so our phase shift has to be a negative 3 pi over 4. All right, our next step is to um, draw in the guidelines on our graph. Our center line, since there's no vertical translation, will just be the x-axis. And our amplitude is 1, so we're going to go up 1 and down 1 from our center line. This is our guideline for our maximum values. And then this one is the guideline for the minimum values. Our next step is to determine the beginning value of x. And we can see that um, because our phase shift is a negative 3 pi over 4, our beginning x value is negative 3 pi over 4. And then we take our period of 2 pi and divide it into four equal parts. And we see that pi over 2 will be the distance for every quadrant. Uh, we start with uh, negative 3 pi over 4 and add pi over 2. And we get negative pi over 4. Then we take that value and add pi over 2 and get pi over 4. Then we take pi over 4 and add pi over 2 and get 3 pi over 4. And then take 3 pi over 4, add another pi over 2, and we get 5 pi over 4. All of these values have a 4 in the denominator. So I'm going to label my notches on my x-axis as fourths. So we have... 1 pi over 4, 
3 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. It's just as easy to keep it in fourths. 4 pi over 4, which is pi. 5 pi over 4. 6 pi over 4. And then um, I have a negative 3 pi over 4 starting value, so let me label it this way as well. Negative pi over 4, negative 2 pi over 4, negative 3 pi over 4, negative 4 pi over 4, which is pi, and negative 5 pi over 4. So at negative 3 pi over 4, uh, this is going to be where I'm going to start my curve. I need to remember this is a sine curve. It has a positive A value. So I'm going to start at the center line at negative 3 pi over 4 and head up. My first, uh, my maximum value, we hit it at negative pi over 4, which is right here. And then I come back and hit the center line at positive pi over 4. And then I'm going to hit the minimum value at 3 pi over 4. And the center line at 5 pi over 4. Now if I wanted to extend it any further, um, looks like I have 2 pi over 4 in between my min here and my center line so I would hit a max at 7 pi over 4 and um, I would hit a minimum value at negative 5 pi over 4 Okay. Our last step then is just to draw our smooth sine curve. 